Welcome to the Mesa Public Schools Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Christy and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash greater Arizona. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, Brigham Young University, Idaho. Hi everyone, I'm Natalie, I'm from BYU, Idaho, and I am actually your representative for for admissions um, for the Maricopa County area. So take a quick picture of my contact information and then you'll know how to get in touch with me. So the first thing I wanna talk about is we invite you to come and take a tour, whether it's in person or virtually. We know that taking a tour is going to be the very best way that you can figure out if BYU Idaho is the right place for you to spend your university experience. So. We've got the web address there, and then Adrienne, who's helping me, is going to also put that in the um, Q&A and in the chat. So come and take a tour with us, and you'll be able to find out um, all about BYU-Idaho. BYU-Idaho, we invite you to become something. We have four areas that we focus on. The first is we want you to become creative thinkers. We also want you to become skilled collaborators effective communicators, and then last, but I think the most important is we want you to become disciples of Jesus Christ. The way that we do that is we have five different areas that we help you become something in a unique and a different way than most other universities um, experience. So the first is that we realize that every student, no matter what your academics are coming into college, every student um, who is college, uh, college ready, has potential and we would like you to help um, to help you increase that potential and become something. Let me just show you some of our statistics for campus. So you can see we're a pretty large campus. We've got about 35,000 students per year, but our class sizes are very small. About 31 students is our average class size. So because of that, you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one with your teachers and that helps you increase your potential and become something. Another way that we are unique is that we have a very high value education. So BYU Idaho was just ranked number two return on investment as the, one of the best value colleges in America. So this is an amazing way to help you become a great student is by giving you that super good um, tuition. You can see here, I've just got um, in-state and out-of-state side by side, and you'll notice there is no difference. So, and that is our tuition. So about $2,000 a semester, you can also see our housing and food is also very, very affordable. So a really good place to come and get a good value education um, and an excellent education. Another thing that I wanna point out that we at BYU and Ho help you become something with is we are a teaching institution, which means that our professors and our teachers focus 100% on the students. They don't have to do research and publications they are able to give students 100% of their time. And this helps you become something, especially in the first three areas that we talked about, becoming an effective communicator, a skilled collaborator. Um, and the last one, I, am, I apologize, my mind just went blank. So we invite you to come and find out how BYU and Ho is a teaching institution with that one-on-one -on -one, um, with the professors. Another way that we help you become something is we give you real world um, experience. So this picture is Nathan. He's one of our cybersecurity students and he's actually doing an internship in this picture. But we have students who also do internships in uh, the hospital. We have students who create their own businesses. We have students who do student teaching. We have students who work for Google, who um, go and work for the State Department. So all different kinds of internships and practicums and every student 
graduates with that real world experience that will help them. And it's what the employers also really look for. And then we invite you to become something by coming to BYU-Idaho in a place where you have shared values. So you sign an honor code because we are part of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, and you live in a place where others have the, the same values and are striving to become something with those values. Um, like we talked about at the very start, one of the main uh, goals of BYU at Ho is to help you become a disciple leader of Jesus Christ. And one way that we do this is through our Tuesday devotionals. This is when the whole campus shuts down and we have all of the students, all the staff, all the faculty, we come together and we're instructed in um, religious things. So at BYU-Idaho, you get your spiritual learning as well as your academic learning. And that helps you become a disciple leader of Jesus Christ. Those of you who recognize this picture, um, this is the Rexburg Temple for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And it is right across the street from our campus. This is a very, very important part of who we are at BYU-Idaho. So we've talked a lot about you, and I know that this was really quick. Um, you'll be able to put some questions in the chat, but I want to share now just a quick video with you. This was from one of our past presidents, President Henry B. Eyring, who talked about what students at BYU-Idaho can become. So as you watch this quick video, I want you to listen for what he is telling you and prophesying about BYU-Idaho students. They will be natural leaders who know how to teach and how to learn. Those graduates of BYU-Idaho will become, and this is a prophecy that I am prepared to make and make solemnly. Those graduates of BYU-Idaho will become legendary for their capacity to build people around them and to add value wherever they serve. I hope I live long enough someday to meet some employer who employed one of you and says, where did that come from? I've never had such a person. And I'll smile and say, well, come with me to Rexburg. <laughs> and I may not be able to show it to you, and I may not be able to prove it to you, but you'll feel it. There will be a spirit here. I so testify. Thank you so much for having me, and I look forward to um, answering your questions. Thank you. Next, we will have uh, the University of Arizona College of Education. Thank you for having me here today and thank you students for being here. So my name is Angela Wolfeo. I wanna welcome all our future Wildcats. Our campus is located in Southern Arizona, in Tucson more specifically, and this is a picture of our beautiful campus. Uh, my name is Angela and I support all incoming students to our College of Education. I'm so thrilled to share a video that hopefully gives you a better uh, understanding of the wonderful work taking place at our College of Education within the University of Arizona. College of Education at the University of Arizona for nearly 100 years has proudly served approximately 1,800 students each year. The college is made up of four academic departments with more than two dozen graduate level programs. We are proud of our diverse student body. We also boast the most diverse faculty on campus. The University of Arizona and the College of Education is asking that all students mask up and bear down. So that means when you're in a space that you can't socially distance more than six feet, we ask that you wear a mask at all times. This area is currently home to student services, but this space will one day be our Dean's office and will be undergoing renovation in the spring of 2022. The new student services will offer meeting space with team workstations and will serve as the hub of our college, an area that is dedicated to students to study meet and relax. Our academic advisors will be there to support you in every step of your college journey. Advisors help you to achieve your academic and professional goals by guiding your graduation plan, answering questions, getting you connected to academic and career support, as well as ensuring that you have all the resources to thrive 
Last year, the College of Education awarded more than $600,000 in student scholarships, with much of it provided by our generous donors. We encourage all students to apply through Scholarship Universe. Over 97% of eligible students who applied for a COE scholarship were provided funding. We remain committed to ensuring our students graduate as debt-free as possible. If you're considering a career as an educator and are an Arizona resident, then you may qualify for a full tuition scholarship. The Arizona College of Education is proud to be a part of the Arizona Teachers Academy, a major funding initiative offered by the state of Arizona and its public universities. This is the most comprehensive support for future teachers offered in recent Arizona history. And if you are a first-generation college student, come from a low-income household, or have a documented disability, the TRIO program can provide tutoring, mentoring, and financial planning support. TRIO staff and your academic advisors also support students in exploring financial aid opportunities. This room is called the Keep Up Auditorium. It is one of the College of Education's three collaborative learning centers. So the Kiva Center is one of the university's collaborative learning centers. And I know from my experience during my first semester here, it really helped me learn. I was taking math at the time, so it really helped me work with my peers. The university has 32 collaborative learning spaces and more are in the works. These rooms allow teachers to place students in small groups for a hands-on learning experience. The College of Education and University of Arizona are not only committed to providing students with an exceptional learning experience, but also value providing programs for students to serve various roles within education. The College of Education offers three teacher preparation program options, leading to both a bachelor's degree as well as teacher certification. Our teacher preparation students benefit from participating in a nationally recognized model for teacher preparation, which allows for the most extensive and continuous field work in the state of Arizona, and a 96% pass rate on state certification exams required for certification. Additionally, more than half of our future teachers earn a job offer during student teaching. The College of Education offers three majors for those hoping to create change within their communities and support youth. This includes careers in nonprofits, working with the deaf community, health and human services, and many more. Our debt studies program is the only one of its kind in this region of the U.S. By preparing students to become educational interpreters, thanks to a 2019 grant, qualified students who agree to work as educational interpreters in the U.S. public school system will be provided full tuition and stipend money. The program also supports those who wish to serve the deaf community, including deaf children, deaf adults, and their families, or even consider a career as an ASL teacher. Our literacy, learning, and leadership degree program encourages real-world learning with opportunities to participate in paid or unpaid internships within the community. As a graduate of the program, it will broaden your understanding about literacy through communicating in ways that encourage collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. Graduates end up doing inspiring work within nonprofits, museums, environmental learning, corporate training, and digital design and in K-12 schools as teachers. Many of our graduates also go on to research and graduate degrees. The Rehabilitation Studies and Services Program prepares students for a career in the health and human services professions by providing a broad-based set of courses to choose from. For those interested in a career in health professions, the program provides a strong foundational approach to understanding disability and rehabilitation. Our graduates are leaders within their communities and embark on careers that span many roles and settings. College of Education's Worlds of Words Center for Global Literacies and Literatures is the largest global children's literature collection in the United States and the second largest in the world. Known as WOW for short, this space offers an extensive selection of literature, which includes more than 40,000 different children and adolescent books. The College of Education's Digital Innovation and Learning Lab, called DIAL, is the community space dedicated to innovative teaching and learning. Here, our professors are researching how technology can transform education among culturally and linguistically diverse learners. At DIAL, people explore ways that technology can expand literacy and learning. DIAL will continue to grow as an innovative learning and research lab 
fully equipped with cutting edge technology to expand creativity. One thing faculty in our college say about their students is that they are deeply involved and there are a lot of opportunities available for students, which include the student council, the dean's undergraduate advisory board, and different projects in the community. Also, students can participate in service learning while earning internship credit through both Project Focus. Thank you for this great information, um, University of Arizona College of Education. Um, remember that you can ask questions um, and also drop your information in the chat feature. Um, yes, next, you'll join us. <laughs> yes, next we will have the University of Arizona College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Hello and good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Leela and I'm currently a junior at the University of Arizona. And I'm also a recruitment intern for the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. So I'm very excited to share all of this short, valuable information with you tonight. So we are known as SPS for short, or colloquially, we are known as the College of People, the People College around campus, because that is exactly what we focus on and what we do. We're really focusing in on these big questions of how and why people across different cultures, contexts, and backgrounds interact with each other in the ways that they do. So just to provide a quick glance at our college, some quick facts and what we offer for our students. We have over 35 schools, departments, and centers. We are continuously growing and adding on to the 33 degree programs that we currently have. And this does not also include all the minors that we offer for our students. So obviously a very wide and diverse array of what you can choose from as an incoming freshman. We have a little over 37 Magellan Scholarship winners. So this is a scholarship specific to students within SPS. However, it is also available to both incoming freshmen and transfer students. So we'll definitely talk about scholarships a little bit later on, uh, but just keeping that in mind as well. We are the first BA in law in the entire nation, which I absolutely love to brag about because Harvard actually modeled their BA in law program after us. So it really highlights the program innovation and development that we have here at SPS. We have a little over 7,000 undergraduates, so somewhat on the larger side of the colleges here at the U of A. And last but definitely not least, we have 17 regents professors, but only 11 of them are currently active and teaching. So here at the College of SBS, we of course have our majors that are related to your traditional social sciences. So that might include your sociology, anthropology. We also have majors that are related to culture, and religion. And as you can see on the bottom left-hand side of the screen, we house majors that are related to information sciences um, and e-arts and e-societies. Of course, this list is not exhaustive, but we did wanna give you a very brief idea of you know, some of the majors and some of the things that you can pursue here. That also goes to say, most of our majors here at the College of SBS will require at least a minor or a double major. So you're really getting this interdisciplinary approach to your learning here at SBS. And one of the foundational things that we're giving our students here are these key skills that you can use to excel in any um, career that you decide to pursue post-graduation. And that is across all of our majors. So as an underlying principle and foundation, you know, you're getting these interpersonal communication skills, leadership skills. And that also goes to say, because of this, our majors pair really well with another major or even another minor at a different college here at the U of A. I also wanted to briefly touch on scholarships with the time that I have with you all today. And like Angela's presentation briefly mentioned earlier, if there is a name that you definitely wanna get down or take a screenshot of, that's going to be Scholarship Universe. And Scholarship Universe is basically a comprehensive platform for thousands and thousands of dollars worth of scholarships here at the University of Arizona. So once you've been admitted to the U of A, you will receive what's called a net ID and password, which will allow you to access this website. Also, one more thing that I wanted to briefly mention is that a lot of our scholarships here at SBS and at the University of Arizona in general actually go heavily under applied for, which results in one or two things. So one, the deadline gets extended, meaning you have more time to apply to the scholarship than initially promised, or two, the dollar amount goes up. So you're actually awarded more money. 
For an example, our Magellan Circle Scholarship used to be one, or sorry, $750, but it recently went up in amount to $1,000 because this scholarship was so underapplied for um, by all of our students. Also, we have so many different amazing opportunities here at the College of SBS, such as research opportunities, study abroad, and a lot of our donors, well, all of our donors, would really hate for money to be a barrier that's standing in between you and pursuing one of those really amazing opportunities. A really great thing about most of these scholarships as well is that they honestly require just a general application. So that means submitting like a personal statement, a resume, maybe even your GPA, and then you can apply to 10 different scholarships very easily on Scholarship Universe. Okay, and I know that I do have a short amount of time with you all today, but if you are interested in attending an info session or either virtual or in person, um, so you can kind of get a more in-depth look into the College of SBS and even ask our students questions or myself questions, please feel free to reach out to my recruitment coordinator, uh, Stephanie Marin. She's a recruitment coordinator of the College of SBS and she would be more than happy to set you up with an info session appointment. Thank you so much, everybody. And I look forward to looking at any questions that you may have in the chat. Thank you. Next, we will have Brigham Young University. Thank you. I'm super excited to be here tonight. My name is Lori Gardner. And I am, um, just let me pull this off the screen so you can see better. Um, I'm super excited to be here tonight. I know there's just a handful of you participating. Some of you are counselors, some of you are parents. And so please don't be intimidated to ask questions in the Q&A. All of us are here tonight to help you get your questions answered. Um, so we are super happy to participate and be here with you guys. Um, I just wanted to give this beautiful shot of our campus at Brigham Young University. We are located at the foothills of um, these beautiful mountains in Provo, Utah. This is an aerial shot of our campus and it is this beautiful. We have groundskeepers that do an amazing job to make our campus um, beautiful year round. And right now we do have some snow in our mountains, but we also have some beautiful leaves for students to see. Um, and we're in the process of getting applicants admit, um, applying right now. And we're very excited about it. This is um, a little bit about BYU. And so as you heard earlier, Brigham Young University Idaho is a sister institution, but we are, um, the original Brigham Young University. And we are, like I said, located in Provo, Utah. We are sponsored by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We have about 35,000 students who are on our campus at um, any given time. And we also have 10 different colleges with over 180 majors in those colleges. And some of our um, Programs are ranked top in the nation, and I'm happy to give more details about those if you have specific ones you want to learn about. Um, we have some different aims that we like our students to come to BYU wanting to acquire and also add to as they come. So we have spiritually strengthening where we like our students to have the spiritual component, and it's a foundation for us at Brigham Young University being sponsored by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And this is so that our students can have that foundation to go on in their lives with this um, spiritual strength. So that's really important to us. We also have intellectually enlarging where we know our students come prepared for academic rigor. And then we like to expand on that and help them grow in the different fields that they are interested in pursuing. And we have an inspiring learning program where it helps our students have experiences in their majors where they can do study abroad, internships and other forms of learning to help them solidify the information that they are gaining at the university. We also have a character building where we like our students to be able to add to who they are and contribute to their talents and skills and those abilities. So we have um, thousands of jobs on campus that students can work in where they can gain even more experience in the fields they're interested in, but also getting experience with jobs 
um, at a university so that they can see if any of that interests them, and just learning from others around them. So we are very excited about that. We, and then all of these lead to lifelong learning and service. And we hope that our students as they come to BYU have this desire to keep learning and to progress and grow throughout their experience. And um, then also we have a lot of service opportunities for our students to get involved and participate in different things on campus and off campus. We have um, student wards if they are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints that they participate in and have opportunities to serve there as well. Um, additionally, I wanted to point out we have our application open right now. And so there are students who are applying right now for next year. Um, our priority deadline is a week from today. So if any of you are on and interested in knowing more about that, I'm happy to talk about that. Please just send over a question in the Q&A. Um, also, our final deadline, if a student misses our priority deadline, is December 15th. And then we'll be notifying students towards the end of February. If you have questions, if you're not interested in applying this year, but you're looking at future years, we have our website deadlines.byu.edu to help with that. Um, I also wanted to point out that our application is pretty inexpensive. It's $35 for our application, but we also accept fee waivers and they can come in from these different sources. And um, we are wanting to help as many students as possible to apply to BYU if they are interested. Um, I also wanted to point out something for those of you parents who are interested in how to pay for school. BYU was actually ranked number one for the best value colleges in Forbes and in the Wall Street Journal. And um, we're very proud of this because we have an excellent education and for a very reasonable price. And that's because of our sponsorship from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, they take care of the majority of the tuition costs for our students and keep the tuition low for those who are actually attending. So we are very proud of this and think it's a great way for students to get an excellent education. Um, we also like to help our students pay for school. And so I just wanted to briefly talk about some of these. We have the scholarship application and opportunities. Also, of course, the free application for federal student aid and then working on campus, like I mentioned earlier. So these are some of our sites for that. And then I also just go through this really fast on our admission site. We have a way that students can look at the application checklist and information to help them as they're going through that application process. We do have reps available to meet with and help students. And so please reach out and ask your rep any questions you have. We also are doing virtual tours and in-person tours and would love to see you on our campus, either virtually or in person. And we have a BYU gift that we send to everybody who participates in one of our tours. So we'd encourage you to sign up for one of those. Um, we also have a bunch of useful websites if you are looking for more information and also to follow us on social media. And lastly, I just wanna point out that we are um, very interested in having a lot of different students on our campus and we think that all of you belong, so please consider applying. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we will have Ensign College. Perfect. Well, it is great to be able to be with you. My name is Jake Smith. I am one of the Outreach and Admissions Counselors here at Ensign College and excited to be able to give you some more information about Ensign College, who we are, and what we have to offer. So our whole mission statement here at Ensign College is to be able to help all those who enter our walls to become, to develop and to become capable and trusted disciples of Jesus Christ and everything that we do to allow you to be able to become the very best that you can become, to be able to receive those resources and things that you need that are necessary for you to be able to reach your dreams and to be able to achieve the potential that you have. Ways that we are able to do that and what we really focus on is to equip our students with practical power. 
And we do that by allowing our students through our programs and our immersive uh, curriculum to be able to help you receive market-ready skills, to help you to be able to create and to be able to gain that character and to become the very best individual that you can become. And to gain that confidence, not only within yourself, but also through that competence, right? So that you can be competent in what you're striving to do, what you will do, and within that field of study, and that will increase your confidence. Something about us, we actually recently just went uh, through a name change. We used to be formerly known as LDS Business College, but changed our name to Ensign College last year. So as you see, we've had a handful of different historic name changes, but we're excited for this new movement forward. So you might already be familiar with us through um, LDS Business College, but we are excited for our new change and, and new leaf to turn ahead. Some kind of fun facts about Ensign College is we have around uh, 2,200 students, between 1,800 and 2,200 students that attend Ensign College every year. Um, our doors have been open since 1886 and have been open to over 100,000 students and will continue. And in 2020, about 54% of our students were first generation college students. And our student population is, is quite unique. We have students from all over the world, um, which creates a, a very unique opportunity, um, a unique opportunity for our students to be able to rub shoulders and hear different languages and be able to you know, meet cultures that they might not get to on a normal day-to-day -day basis. So a little bit about what we offer. So Ensign College, as you see in this uh, diagram, we offer a variety of different educational paths that are unique to you, but we really allow you to be able to mix and match and create that education. And so it's useful for you and it will allow you to be able to learn what you want to learn and apply those things. You can get anywhere from a standalone certificate that's about one to three semesters long, about a year, year and a half. We have two different associates degrees. The first, the Associate of Science degree, and you can add any one of the certificate programs alongside of that. The Associate of Science degree is 100% transferable, so if you're looking to come get your general education and transfer, that would be the degree to do so. Our Associate of Applied Science degree, which is not as transferable because it's more specialized classes uh, geared towards that program, and the Associate of Applied Science degree, those degrees are really geared to be able to get you right into that specific field, which these fields generally might not necessarily require continued education. And then we are very excited that we've added some four-year Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. As you can see here, we have a wide variety of different things that we offer at Ensign College. Yes, we do have your business, but anywhere from marketing, human resources, interior design, it's actually one of our most popular degrees, as well as medical assisting, and the list goes on. But as you can see here, we do have a wide variety of different things to offer those who come to Ensign College and have it fit for everybody. And here you can see these are the new Bachelor of Applied Science degrees, which we're really excited about. Um, what we really try to do is help prepare our students and help them develop those professional skills so you can go and, and get a job and to be able to bless yourself and your future family, to help you to be able to act through our deep learning immersive curriculum where you're immersed right from day one and not just reading from a pamphlet but really doing it every step of the way and then you're able to demonstrate those skills as a trusted and capable disciple of Jesus Christ. Generally, our class sizes don't exceed any more than about 21 students, um, and so it really does create about 20, 21 students, creates a very unique opportunity and intimate situation where you can have those relations and build those relations with your peers and the relationship with your professors. And Ensign College, we are located in the heart of Salt Lake City. So we're just north of the Vivint Smart Home Arena where the jazz play. Um, there's so much to do hiking up at Ensign Peak. We have devotionals every Tuesday, um, very similar to the other church education schools um, on Temple Square, which is unique to us, on the Assembly Hall, which is a great opportunity, and City Creek and other type of great opportunities for students to be able to do activities off campus and as well as some fun things on campus. So as far as tuition goes, you can see a breakdown here for members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which we're sponsored by. Tuition is $1,828, and then for non-members, $3,656. And that's just for one semester, which is an absolute phenomenal price. And just like other colleges, we try our best to be able to help you get a phenomenal education and not have that to be a financially burden on yourselves. So we do provide um, a handful of different scholarships um, and financial aid. So take a quick picture there. If you want to learn more about that, you can visit our scholarships office uh, just at that website there or that phone number. As far as admissions requirements, we do not require an ACT or an SAT score. Just that you graduate high school or something equivalent to that. You have to send in those transcripts that you do if you do do concurrent enrollment classes. 
um, two different ecclesiastical endorsement interviews. Um, and for non-members, you'll have to do some interviews as well, but it's a little bit different of a process, which I'm grateful um, uh, to answer that question later for you. Um, an essay, and then just a one-time $35 application fee. And if you have completed any of your high schooling work outside the US, it will have to be evaluated. Um, these are our deadlines that we have. Um, so feel free and apply. These deadlines are coming up and they're open. Um, and some next steps, feel free to visit our website. Come take a tour on campus. Um, this is my information, which I'll put in the chat if you do have any other questions. But I'm um, grateful to let you know a little bit more about Ensign College and hope that you come and visit us. Thank you. Next, we will have Arizona Christian University. There we go. Thank you. I'm trying to get this all up and rolling. Can you guys see this okay? Can you guys see this okay? No, I, I don't see anything. Okay, give me one second. I've had a little bit of an issue with this as of late, so my apologies. Okay, how about that? Yes. Well, thank you. Um, I know that you guys, as you kind of take your steps in deciding on a university, um, you've got a lot of choices. And so uh, we're prayerful that um, God leads you to the right spot. We are a courageously Christian university uh, right here in Glendale, Arizona. Um, this is an introduction to who we are, a little bit about us, and I'll give my contact information towards the end. Um, usually when you get to this point, you know, you're probably asking yourself, what am I going to do? What is my next step? Uh, Arizona Christian University exists to educate and equip followers of Christ uh, through transforming culture with truth. We believe that the gospel um, of Jesus Christ and the, um, the Bible uh, is, the, uh, is the truth. And we look to educate and, and um, equip our followers uh, to make that impact once they graduate from college. Um, Arizona Christian also provides an integrated liberal arts education, education equipping graduates to serve the Lord uh, Jesus Christ in all aspects of life, of leaders of influence and excellence. Um, this is just a shot of some of our students uh, out there at ACU. Uh, we're pretty excited that we've got a brand new campus of 65 acres uh, on West Side of Town. Uh, we have four core values, um, faith, influence, um, relationship, and excellence. As you can see, uh, those core values spell out the word fire. Um, we are the firestorm, which is our mascot. And one of the cool things uh, about our mascot is that uh, we're the only uh, school in the United States of America that has firestorms their mascot. So you're not going to be com competing against anyone else. But you'll also notice that faith is the top line core value for us. Um, we are really uh, integrated in uh, biblical and theological teaching on an evangelical basis. Uh, so our students can learn the Bible uh, and can uh, interpret the Bible and can uh, bring the Bible to life when they go out uh, into their professional uh, lives. Uh, we were recognized as one of the best colleges, uh, regional colleges in, in 2021 for undergraduate teaching. If you want to be a teacher, this is something that we have um, that we're, we're top of the line. Social mobility as well. And then regional colleges of the West, we are uh, ranked as one of the best colleges by U.S. News and World Report. Okay, It is a cultural and theologically conservative university where we are serious about our deepening our Christian faith and where relationships and community matter most. We transform culture with truth by being courageously Christian. Um, if I was to sum up what ACU is all about, it would be this terminology right here. We are very, um, we are very thorough and we are very uh, focused on getting that uh, biblical and theological teaching across. Um, here's just a list of our, um, of our major courses of study. You'll see there's 18 different ones here. If you see yours out here, we'd love to get you to apply to our university. Um, we have no application fee, so it's just going to be a matter of uh, turning your transcripts in um, and writing the uh, essay questions on when you develop the relationship with Jesus Christ, as well as your relationship now. And then we also have you uh, comment on a, on a cultural issue that's going on in the world today. Arizona Christian University is now offering a partnership with DTS, Dallas Theological Seminary, with a four plus one or a four plus two program for your master's degree. So if you're interested in and becoming possibly a church uh, minister or church pastor or music uh, worship pastor, you can do that as well. Okay. Uh, we embrace the size of our student body. It creates an environment uh, for opportunities to connect. Um, as a matter of fact, we only have 800 
50 students on our campus. Um, that includes commuters and folks that, li that live on campus as well, because we have uh, on campus living too. Student involvement, you can get involved in a, quite a few things, intramurals, clubs, organizations, we have fellowship of Christian athletes, choir, worship bands, community events as well. We have spiritual uh, development um, as well, uh, chapel, small groups, uh, student house of prayer, discipleship groups, uh, nice and of course service projects to the community that surrounds our university as well as other uh, areas too, okay? This is just a, a shot of just some of the things that are going on on our campus. Um, we have, you know, things that for students to do, to get involved, to try new things, and obviously to make new friends, okay? We have chapels twice a week. Um, that's on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., which is a fantastic time to praise and worship uh, to Jesus, as well as learn uh, and hear from and, and experience an uh, individual uh, Christian who's out in the community, be it in the business world or the education world or, or something along that sort, okay? Um, the ACU... Uh, the, um, the ACU recruiter, which is me, uh, will help you follow the required uh, athletic recruiting process if you are interested in college athletics. We are part of the NAIA uh, with the Golden State Athletic Conference being our conference. And we do have uh, athletic scholarships, um, but they are determined by the coach and they are not stackable with any of their scholarships, okay? And here's some of our uh, sports that we have on campus as well, okay? Dorm life, we have on-campus living. Um, you'll see here where my arrow is pointing. This is the freshman dorm. This is the girl side. And on the opposite side is the guy's side, okay? Um, there's a pool, obviously, right there in the middle. We're in Arizona, so it gets pretty hot uh, during the time that you start school and the time that you end school. Uh, but it's a great place to hang out with friends and, and do some neat things. Another shot of our freshman dorms. There's our pool. Uh, the commons is an area where you can obviously uh, use your meal plan. Um, this was a, a a property that was taken over by Arizona State University a few years back. Uh, we also have a fantastic library with a, in, in, an infrastructure that's absolutely beautiful. And we actually have this, books on the shelf. Look at that. Huh? Uh, this was a World War II fighter training base. So this is the tower uh, where airplanes used to take off and land. Um, I'm going to skip over here to the end um, so you can kind of see a little bit more of what our campus is all about. Okay. Um, you must be a believer in the Christian faith, personal essay on the application, a cumulative unweighted GPA of 2.5, and we do have uh, official ACT, SAT, but these are currently optional due to COVID. Um, the other cool part is, um, is that we have FAFSA, we have unbelievable scholarships grants, and a work study on our program, especially for students from low-income background uh, as well, okay? Uh, if you guys want to take a picture of this, this is the best way to go uh, to get yourself connected uh, with Arizona Christian University if you're interested in applying. And of course, if you want to throw um, a, uh, a question in the chat box, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, also provided a, a QR code. Uh, if you want to take a picture of that, it's going to take you exactly to uh, the inquiry sheet where you can fill that out and we'll also be following up with you too. Thank you. So I would um, like to ask all of the panelists uh, one question before we wrap up for tonight. And everyone can turn on your camera and if you would just answer in the order that you presented, um, just a very quick response. What's one thing you want students to remember about your school? Sorry, I was on mute. Thanks, Christy, for facilitating. We would love if the students um, and parents and counselors would remember that BYU-Idaho is student-focused. Everything we do is about the students. Our faculty are about the students. Um, we help students get jobs so that they can pay for school. We help them plan for afterwards. But everything we do is about the students, and we're student-focused. Thanks. Hello, thank you parents and students. It was great to speak with you today. And at the University of Arizona College of Education, we are really focused on student success. 
Um, exceptionally so when it comes to preparing future teachers. We have a 96% pass rate on those completing state certification exams. So if teaching or working with youth is the right path for you, know that we're committed to your success. And I hope that you saw that in the video today. Have a great evening. Hello, everybody, and thank you again for joining us today. If there's one thing that I would like all students and parents to remember about the College of SDS is that we're really equipping our students with the skills that employers are looking for after they graduate. So interpersonal communication skills, like I mentioned, it's going to be really key when you're going out into the job market looking for something. And of course, we're also, you know, offering a ton of different hands-on learning opportunities here at SBS. So if you learn by doing, we're the place for you. Thank you again. It was really nice to speak with everyone. Um, I think what I would say for Brigham Young University is that we are very excited to have different students interested in coming. And we are very interested in developing the whole student and that it's a great value for students when they come to Brigham Young University. And if you have specific questions, please send us a message. You can go to our website, BYU.edu, or you can also email us at admissions.bu or admissions at BYU.edu, and we'd be happy to help answer any questions that you specifically have. Thank you. I would say from my end here at Ensign College, one thing to know about Ensign College um, will be that we are a gateway to your education, a place to be able to allow you to become the best that you could become, a place that you will dream dreams that you've never dreamed about dreaming and then being able to be able to reach those dreams and then make your education and your life a reality. Uh, for Arizona Christian University, um, if you were interested in getting a solid uh, core of Christian and uh, biblical and theological study, uh, this may be the place for you. Um, always look for the right fit. You don't get your time back and you don't get your money back. Uh, and if KCU happens to be that fit for you, we would love to talk with you. Uh, I just put my uh, email in the uh, chat area and you can shoot me an email. We'd love to connect with you. Oh, we're local too. How's that? Well, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, when you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. We encourage you to check back um, with the schedule and sign up for more sessions. Uh, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com slash greater Arizona. Thank you everyone.